Let's break down the four frameworks to create amazing chat GPT outputs. And we're gonna start with context. Context is key to getting an accurate response. What's this mean? Provide more information to guide chat GPT to where you want it to go. And some simple things that I do every single time, make sure to tell it who you are, your brand voice, and your ideal client. This sets the foundation for it to know as much as possible about you. Because without context, ChatGPT can be inconsistent. So the more that you give it contextual relevance, the better it will be. So seeing this example I have up here on the side of the screen, um, who I am, I'm building a ChatGPT education company, our target demographic, we are creating a newsletter. This is what we do. I would like 20 newsletter ideas in bullet points, no more than three words each. Here are some tips. Look at how detailed and how much context I give it so that it spits out exactly what I am looking for. So the first thing that you're gonna do when you're creating a prompt, start with the context. Next, you're gonna to get to the task definition. So what I want you to do is to set the goal for ChatGPT to achieve what you want it to do. And the key to this, make it very specific and make it very clear. Because just like you, the more clear you are when someone gives you instructions, the easier it is for you to create the desired result. So one thing that I like to do, I will actually list in my prompt in the brackets instructions and that tells chat gpt here's what i want you to do in a simple framing for this and this can be a major unlock i want you to think about chat gpt like it is an employee literally think about what you would say to an employee if you wanted it to do a task and then give the exact same level of detail to chat gpt so once again here's the example who I am, world-class world personal growth coach, who I help, and I share some context about what I wanna do, help my clients create a better relationship to time. So here's the task definition. I want a list of 10 other things time is that I could teach them in bullet points. I make it so there is no way that this employee, AKA chat GPT, cannot understand everything that I want it to do. Oh, so simple. That way, when you do this, you align to ChatGPT's full capabilities. That's what task definition is. Up next, specificity. And this is something you're gonna hear over and over again in so many different ways. I want you to be very specific and give a high level of detail when you create your prompts. Once again, be clear, be precise. And this is an area where people really fail at. They think, oh, I'm just gonna type in one sentence and it's gonna create an amazing output. Not true. The more specific and the more detailed, the better the output. Therefore, I encourage you, be very intentional about this part of the framework. Take some time to define what you want. You know what? This might only take you an extra 30 seconds, an extra minute, maybe two, because I know the best creators in the world, myself included, we spend time creating our first prompt because once you give it that context, oh baby, that's how you can get ChatGPT to start spitting out gold for you. And one of the things that I highly encourage you to do is give it some past writing or resources something that gives it some specific context about who you are or what you want it to follow. So some examples of this, past writing, background information, industry specific language, transcripts, conversations, emails, uh, your role or the role of the person. You can even give it your current Facebook ad copy or your current headline that you're using. Literally, Give it anything that you can that would make it better because it'll make it better. So that's how highly detailed we are. 
So once again, you'll see here in this example that I have, what am I doing? I'm hiring a full-time employee for our company and we're turning our business into coaching services. I'm creating the three content pillars for our social media strategy map right now. Here's what they are. Can you create core, four content elements that we will talk about for each one in bullet points? These are like smaller topics that are aligned to the larger pillar. The key is to be delivering the best value to our audience. Look at how specific that is from what we are doing to what we're creating for what, you, what I want you to do all the way down to the keys for creating this. And as you can see, this specificity is very formulaic. It's also super simple. Did all of that in only four sentences. So now you're gonna be thinking differently in a good way because of the framework that you're using. And the last section on this is iteration. So prompt engineering is an iterative process, meaning the first version is not the end result. It could be, but most often it's not because both we are flawed as is ChatGPT. So don't expect ChatGPT to always be perfect. Know that, all right, part of the process is there's gonna be a version two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So once you understand that it's a multi-step process, in real time, you will work on getting better at creating a version 1.0 to make version two, three, and four significantly better. So it's all about refining it every single time. And version 1.0, I like to think about it as, all right, let's get the ball rolling. So one thing I do not do by design is overwhelm it and try and ask it to do too much. And a lot of people, based on where things currently are, they'll be like, I want you to write me an entire book based on one sentence. Will the capabilities eventually be able to get to that? Sure, one day. But right now, that's just asking too much. The way that I would think about it would be like, cool, here's the book that I'm looking to write. And what I would like for you to do is to give me some ideas just for the title. In bullet points, give me 10 of them then you can start building out the various layers of this world. So think about it as an entry point in the world, and now we'll build from there. And there's a term that I wanna teach you called prompt chaining. So what it is, is it means you use what you had listed above to create a better version, AKA your first prompt is a chain for the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one. So I'll show you an example right here. You can see it output something for me. And then I changed it, I iterated it, and I said, have it be more personal and less formal, as if I'm having a conversation at dinner with someone, cool. And then it gives me a response, and I then chain it and do new iteration, lead with a more unique hook for the first sentence. So we're peeling back that onion, we're getting better, we're getting better, we're getting better because a lot of people are like, oh my God, this is so vague. If you give it vague instructions, it'll create vague outputs. Therefore, improve, optimize, and iterate, and you'll get more powerful outputs.